Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> just wanted to uh, clear up a few things about the why and how I use that. First of all, uh, I want people to realize that I, I would never claim that I discovered the whys in the golf swing. That, that is a, would be the most silly thing that anybody could ever claim. The whys are merely an observation that I made watching um, the best players in the world. And I've went throughout, all throughout history looking at different golf swings. <clears throat> and um, all the great players use the why, but they all have a certain way that they use it. Uh, some of them are very similar and some of them are not. What I'm doing is something completely different from what I've been witnessing from other people. Simply because of the channel lock protocols in the back ball position, um, it kind of led me to a way of doing it that is slightly different. Uh, I it was brought to my attention that there's a, a swing concept called the Y swing, and somebody put up a video 13 years ago, and uh, it's very interesting. Uh, what I'm doing is not that. I've, <clears throat> I wasn't watching YouTube 13 years ago. So, <clears throat> um, but I did go back and watch that video. It's pretty interesting, but the way the guy's using the Y is something totally different. So the whys are merely an observation that I made. It's not something that I discovered. Uh, I would never claim that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> so how I use the whys though is an individual thing. It's something, it could be a roadmap for you to learn, but how you actually release the golf club inside those whys is what determines uh, how you're gonna hit the ball. And that's a totally individual thing that you have to do through trial and error, practice, repetition, to develop those skills. So I like, I like to compare this, this instrument like this instrument right here, a guitar. I love to play the guitar, I love to play golf. I love to swing the golf club. There are seven notes on this instrument. 12 if you add the flats and sharps in. So you learn a basic fundamentals of how to hold this instrument, how to do hammer-ons, uh, how to bend strings, how to do vibrato. There's, there's a host of fundamentals that are similar that all guitarists use. Uh, but ultimately, the end result comes down to each individual. Everybody has their own particular sound that they're gonna create, their own style. And uh, it's the individual that makes this happen, that makes this sound the way it does. Uh, and that's done through practice and just finding yourself in, as an individual. Same way with this instrument right here. Okay, I can give you some basic fundamentals with channel lock that I use, but how you release that golf club and how you use your hands or how you don't use your hands, the pressure you have on the club, um, how tight you grip it or how tight you don't grip it, all play a factor in uh, the results. So it's a very, very individual thing. Um, I'm not trying to change what uh, JH has done in channel lock, by no means. Um, the protocols are what they are. You know, rear ball position, five o'clock nose, those type of things are uh, they're there for a reason. Uh, what I'm doing is just showing you some basic fundamentals that I've developed inside those protocols. <clears throat> and uh, with the why, all great players have used it in a different way. What I'm advocating is not lifting the club with your, with your thumbs up. And that's what you'll see with a lot of the whys. That's not the type of why I'm making. The why I make is going to be an inside path, not lifting the golf club, thumbs down and ulnar deviation till I get to a certain point, and then the momentum flips the club up. Okay, for me that is the most simplistic way I can get that club in a good position, keep it on my shaft plane, and that gives me the ability to make a good. Um, good swing on my, my shaft plane.
And that was my goal, is to be able to swing the club on the shaft plane, okay? Uh, not everybody does that. I, I don't think you're gonna find many people that can swing it from this shaft plane all the way through the golf swing, if you're looking from behind. <clears throat> Even the great Mo Norman on his takeaway was inside that shaft plane on the takeaway. Now, he always matched it up perfect at impact. And that's probably the most crucial part of it. But I wanted to develop my swing where I'm on that shaft plane the entire time. JH is, uh, there's some similarities because he's, he's on that shaft plane the majority of the time. And that's why he's a good ball striker. So that was my goal is to swing it on that shaft plane. And if I lift the club, guess what? I can't. I cannot swing it on that shaft plane. If I take it straight down the line like I've been accused of doing, I cannot swing it on that shaft plane. So the channel lock is a, an extreme inside to out golf swing. If you try to use this swing with a middle to forward ball position, using the Y's I'm talking about, I would hook it off the planet. I would not be able to keep it on the golf course. But with that rear ball position using that, that does not happen. I've proven that through my ball flight videos. I always want to demonstrate what I do and where I can back up what I'm saying. So, uh, matter of fact, if I need to hook the ball, I can never do it off my back ball position because channel lock's not made to maneuver the ball. Very small movement in the ball. Um, if I need to hit a big slinging hook, I'm gonna move the ball up in my stance and make the same inside to out swing. And the ball flight laws will allow this to happen. So just wanna clear that up and um, we'll be coming back with some more information. As this thing, uh, the information keeps coming out, some of this stuff will make more and more sense to you. Um, can't put it all on one video because it would take forever to do that and watch it. It would be over an hour long, maybe a couple hours long. So uh, just be patient and um, this thing will eventually unfold and you'll, you'll learn more about what I'm trying to do. So everybody have a good day and we'll catch you later.